clearly to Guyana and to again add our congratulations on your opening of the embassy here in Georgetown and this will facilitate the uh, relationship between Chile and CARICOM because this is the headquarters of CARICOM as well. So thank you and congratulations on the opening of your embassy and your ambassador here knows that he will enjoy the full support of the government and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Georgetown. Uh, thank you again for sharing your views um, with us. Um, Chile has a very long and glorious reputation of cooperation with the Caribbean and particularly with the CARICOM. And uh, your presence here uh, emphasizes the, your personal commitment um, characterized by your own struggle to achieve the very objectives of the Caribbean, um, particularly in terms of human development, democracy, the alleviation of poverty. Um, Madam President, uh, the heads of government around this table represent uh, a huge community of island states. So the sea, the maritime environment is ever present. And Chile too, with its very long coastline too, cannot um, escape the, the presence of the, or the importance of the maritime environment. Geographically, we are all affected by climate change. We are all affect, threatened by environmental risk and disaster. And uh, we share with you the desire to protect our people from the adverse impact of climate change and environmental disaster. And this is of one area that we welcome your offer of collaboration um, so that uh, in terms of the changes taking place in the climate, Chile as a part of this continent and the Caribbean will be able to work together to protect our people. We welcome your offers of uh, technical cooperation. Uh, we can only gain from your experiences your population is greater than the entire population of the Caribbean states. And of course, your, your lands, land area, of course, is larger than um, all of the Caribbean states combined. But we are sure that as a continental state, your cooperation with the island states and the uh, other states of mainland South America, namely, Suriname, Guyana, and of course in Central America, Belize, we will be able to demonstrate to the world the ability of the large to cooperate with the small, the ability of the more developed to cooperate with the less developed. And I'm confident that under your leadership, Chile and CARICOM will be able to demonstrate uh, the spirit of uh, co cooperation and that we assure also that your own commitment to the peaceful resolution of disputes, your own commitment to uh, continental solidarity, your own commitment to democracy will last much longer than I'm sure all of us around the table um, will, will live to see. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for sharing your views with us. And we look forward to long and fruitful cooperation between the Caribbean community as a whole and the Republic of Chile. Thank you, Madam.